Rob, many congratulations. A victory here in the World Series of Darts. You've got a smile on your face again. Just sum up how you're feeling for us. Nah, I, feel, I feel really good. And um, it's weird at the minute because I just changed my setup. I played with that first time on TV tonight. And do you know they're going so much better? My practice game's a lot better than what I showed tonight. I, I'm just a little bit confused, I suppose, with, with Steve not sort of turning up in a way. It, it, I expected so more, and then all of a sudden you're in 16, 17, 18 darters, and you think yourself, how am I winning? But at the same time, I'm glad for the win. Is it a shorter stand you've gone to by the look of it, by the naked eye? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a carbon fibre idea what target do and um, I have to admit since since I've been using them the, the darts have stopped turning as much I, I feel like I can score I feel like I'm not blocking double 16 too much now and and I can get round it and I have to admit I need a little bit of time I've only spent I've only spent sort of a bit of last week with them um, but a little bit of time with them and and I actually feel yeah like I could deliver me best again What's it been like for you after the Premier League? Obviously, because it was hugely disappointing to to bomb out on Judgment Night, and you didn't quite see yourself on that stage. You had some time to reflect and work out what went wrong. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, no, I didn't really feel like myself. I think the last game, if anything, um, me backs up against the wall, and I played some decent stuff, and then I done what I done normally all week, and I missed doubles. So. Um, it, it was one of them. If I hit doubles, maybe I'm throwing for the match five, four or, or six, six, five up. And um, I miss them. But at the same time, I, I suppose where I am at the minute, I, I suppose I feel the most comfortable. I've just started practicing properly again. I'm doing two sessions a day when I'm at home. And I have to admit, family life is probably the best it's ever been. And I, I couldn't argue. I sort of couldn't argue anything with sort of what's going on in my life. It's great. With all the um, big ranking tournaments that are coming up towards the end of the year, how close is your game to where it needs to be so you can compete again like the Rob Cross we all know? I don't know. It's weird. I sort of, I've, I've changed my setup and the way they're sitting now, I feel so much happier. And instead of just sort of thinking of three months, I'm probably thinking, you know what, it's only a few games away, maybe even a couple. I never know what's going to turn up, and obviously I haven't been at my brilliant best, but that's been my own fault for not not putting the hours in and, and other things sort of going on at home. Um, but at the same time, I'm enjoying it again. And and I went out there tonight with, with the crowd. It's absolutely amazing. Do you know, you don't realise how much you miss it until it's gone. Well, pleasure as always, champ. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Rob, well played tonight. Um, just tell us how tough the last few months have been for you and, and do you feel as if you're ready to, to turn the corner again now? I, d I definitely feel I'm ready to turn the corner because at the end of the day, I've gone out there, I've not had my best showing every week and I've let myself down. I've let my family down and, and I've not done the right things and that's disappointing. But at the same time, I'm, I'm always one person to wear my heart on my sleeve and, and do what I'm doing and if you play bad, I'd, I'd sort of take that. And, and don't get me wrong, I don't like it. But at the same time, you have to sort of grim and bear it. You have to move on. And you have to be a champion and I know how to win. So um, I'll get myself sorted. And I don't think, I don't think it's a million miles away. It's weird. It's very weird. You've only been a professional a couple of years now. Has this been your toughest spell since joining the PDC? Um... I, I personally think um, it's, it's not my toughest spell in the PDC. When I won the world title, I didn't know how to act. I think, I think that's massive. Um, but I would say it's probably been the toughest point in my life. And I'm 30 on Monday. Um, so, so, yeah, I spent 29, 30 years. And to be honest with you, just with home life and other things like that, it's been tough. It's, it's, it's been a lot. My problems ain't on a dartboard. I can win, I can do great things. Um, and I believe that. But at the same time, if things ain't right at home and things, things have been going wrong for the last six months, it gets you down a little bit. You have to pull yourself together and you have to go again. And that's what I need to do now. And with the events starting to come a bit more regularly now towards the last stages of the season, does that allow you to build some consistency and momentum? It's amazing. <laughs> I actually feel, you know, we all took it for granted before lockdown and, and you'll play week on week and 
yeah, some weeks, yeah, you're going there, you wouldn't produce. But at, actually, you know, just that match practice, just to get yourself match sharp and doing what you're doing. And that's what it's all about for me. If I could go back to normal tomorrow, and I'm sure a lot of players would say the same, they would. Um, you miss it, and you miss it greatly. It's a massive part of my life. And I never, ever forget you know, what the games give me. But at the same time, I enjoy it. I love it. And, and I like to do great things yeah, when, when everything's stacked against you. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Rob. Cheers, mate. Rob, obviously, the, there was a big... In, in dropping out of the Premier League on judgment night. Do you think maybe a little bit of a blessing in disguise, giving you time to reassess things and spend a bit of time at home? No, it's probably not the spending time at home. I spend time on the board and, and, and we practice games a lot, lot different. But it's, it's having the confidence to take it from that board up until the match board. And um, I did, I, maybe I'm not getting that right at the minute, but it's only at the minute. It, it will... It will come good. It, everything will be good. But it's um it's weird, isn't it? It's it's you can have your life up in up in the air, and and you still have to deal with it. We have to move move on, and we have to be human beings. And it doesn't matter what life throws at you; you just keep going, and and that's what it's all about. Obviously, you had your your fourth child not not so long ago. Um, how much time have you have you had to practice in that? Not much at all, I imagine. No, if anything, it's lack of sleep. I do the night shifts and, and I help out. I try and help out as much as I can so I can practice in the day. And, do you know, I couldn't really ask for a better wife and, and a better family, really, because I can disappear for sort of three, five hours. Something, yeah, what I haven't done really for, I suppose, a couple, maybe a few years, really, in my practice games. So getting that back, I've, I've found that hard to get into a routine again. But... But at the same time, it, it will slot together and I'm enjoying it again. And that's the main thing. Having a crowd back this week for me was, was amazing. Oh, brilliant. To it tomorrow. Hello, Rob. How are you? Oh, not too bad, Phil. Not too bad. Looking very good there, aren't you? <laughs> um, <laughs> the good news is, for you, you've ended the jinx. I'm all right. I, d I actually feel yeah, like I could probably pull my socks up from now on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> as far as attire is concerned, that's the first win on a stage you have wearing that shirt. So uh, you've not actually won in that shirt on a stage. So uh, I'm not wearing the shirt then, shouldn't I? Well, it's, it's, it was shirt gate. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, but in all seriousness, is that an element of relief tonight, just to feel that winning dart go in? Uh, no, not really. I always take it on feelings in any game and, and you have to sort of feel every dart and, and when you're into it at the most and then, and then yeah, you should produce your best stuff. Um, I enjoyed it out there tonight. It was a little bit weird, weird with Steve not playing his best tonight and I felt a bit sort of stuck on heels at times. At the same time, I get through and I'm looking to shine tomorrow. Um, obviously... It's been a roller coaster year for you. You, you lost your, your grandfather. You've had the birth of Bobby. I mean, you've said about how difficult it is to control your emotions during that period of time. Has it been more difficult because you are relatively new to the game? Because people forget that you've only been around for three years. Um, yeah, maybe. But just as a person, like I said before, um, it's, it's probably been my hardest year in life. It's, it's nothing to do with darts. Darts doesn't really contribute to that. When you don't feel your best and you go out there, you, you can play badly. Um, sometimes, yeah, you can try and pick yourself up and you can bend down and pick nothing up. It's, it's just one of them. Um, at the same time, I sort of learned now, did, you know, life, life sort of turned around for me and and it's nice now. I'm I'm getting my practice game back. I'm I'm doing what I should be doing. I feel more at home with the game. I love the crowd tonight, and I probably didn't play my best stuff because maybe I didn't feel like I had to tonight. That's no disrespect to Steve, but he didn't he didn't really push and, and sort of stuck on heels with the game tonight. But I look forward to tomorrow and and sort of putting a good account in and. Just getting up there, just doing what you can and, and playing darts again and trying to play to your best. Obviously, you've had the very biggest highs in the sport and you had a great year last year as well. Do you still feel that buzz, that adrenaline, that hunger to go and repeat all this? 
I don't think it will ever leave me. I think it's weird. It's, it's, um, and for the short time what I have spent here, I, I absolutely love and adore the game. Um, do you know, it was, it was like it was bred into me blood. It was something what was meant to be. But um, at the same time, no, look, you get ups and downs. And, do you know, do I feel like I can move on from this? 110%. I've got good people around me. I've got great things going on. And um, I, uh, maybe I just need to start feeling great. Good stuff. Well, listen, well done tonight. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate.